What about diabetes and metabolic risk? Like, I thought protein was healthy. What the hell is this? Observational links between total protein and diabetes, which they are, there are absolutely links, correlation. People who, on average in the United States and Western Europe, eat the most protein, not very small groups of people like fitness people, but over the whole general population, also tend to have the worst kidney and metabolic disease risk outcomes. And when you look at those links, they actually disappear or reverse when two things are controlled for. One, adiposity. So if you're really, really fat, then it is true that excess protein causes more dysfunction because it just contributes to excess calories and makes you even fatter. And all, you already have all these bad things. And because you weigh 300 pounds, you have a higher appetite. You eat more of everything. You eat more protein. So go, wait, 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 wait. So these guys eat more protein and they have worse kidneys. The same exact relationship is seen with Diet Coke. Scott, have you ever seen that diet soda and obesity direct correlation? Of course. Yeah. Like they'll say, oh, diet soda. The people who drink diet soda are the fattest. Like, yeah, that's why the they're drinking diet soda because they're fat. They won't want to be fat anymore. It's like saying like, you know, the, the people that have casts on their legs have the highest uh, a fraction of broken legs. It's the casts that break their legs. Like, no, 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 no. They got broken legs first. Then the casts got put on, which is why it's a really high correlation.